Hey what's up, it's Chris from Rooker Films and in today's video I'm talking all about live show photography. So let's get into it. Show photography can be really difficult as you're typically faced with a few of these problems. It's dark, the artist is moving around a lot and you typically not allowed to use flash photography as it's too intrusive. Now when you're shooting a high moving subject, you typically want to up your shutter speed to capture them in sharp detail. However, when you up your shutter speed, you also darken the image. So this is a real juggling act here. In most cases, I normally use the setting one over 100. This means that I'm gonna capture them in sharp-ish detail and it's not gonna drown out too much of the light. However, if they're moving around too much or if they're jumping up and I need those epic mid-air shots, then I'm gonna have to up this to around one over 200 or one over 300. Now, you want to try and get as much light into your camera as is physically possible as you're shooting in a dark environment. So for this, I'm going to open up my aperture as wide as it can go. Now, for most of my shoots, I typically shoot on a Canon 24 to 105 as this is a great lens as it covers everything. However, it only opens up to f4. And when you're in a low light environment, those extra few stops of light can make a world of difference. So for show photography, I like to use this lens. That's the Canon 50 mm 1.8. Now when you're shooting outside, you can close your aperture down to f22 and everything should be in complete focus. However, when you're in a low light environment, you need to open up your aperture as wide as it will go. And in this case, it's 1.8. Now the danger when you're shooting at f1.8 is everything is gonna be completely out of focus if you're not careful. Make sure you focus your lens every time you take a new picture just to make sure that the artist is in crystal clear focus. Now the last camera setting that you need to know about is ISO. ISO is basically a brightness control and you typically don't want to take this above 800 ISO. However, if it's still too dark after you've set your shutter speed and your aperture, then you may have to increase this to get to a point where your image is correctly exposed. Just be careful though, the more you increase your ISO, the grainier, the noisier, and the uglier your image is going to be. So just be super careful with this. Now when you're shooting a show at a music venue, there's typically an amazing light show happening at the same time as the performance. So try and take advantage of this and try and take your pictures at the same time as the lights are hitting the artist. So my final tip is to overshoot. Take as many images as you physically can and filter these down in the edit. With show photography, you're going to get a whole load of dark images that are really ugly, but every now and then you'll get a beautiful image when the light correctly hits the artist and it just looks incredible. So take as many as you can and filter these down in the edits to find your best work. Show photography can be really difficult, but if you're well prepared, then you can capture some amazing results and have some incredible fun whilst doing so. If you enjoy watching this video, then please do let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this one in the future. Thank you ever so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I will see you next time. Show photography, <clears throat> show photography, show photography, show photography, live show photography, show photography, show photography can be really difficult.